Hey guys, is Joe, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we gonna learn something cool in Adobe XD. Which is how to create hover effect and anchor links. Remember to join the family by clicking on the subscribe button. Now, let us go ahead and get started. On the artboard, I have designed a full website that we will use for the tutorial. I leave a link in the video description for you to download the design if you want to follow me step by step. First, I will create a hover state for the navigation buttons. To do that select the button and convert it to a component and add a hover state. Increase the opacity of the color to 100%. Select the button again and change the state back to default. Now let preview and see how it will work. I'll repeat the same method for the rest button. Here I've another button. I'll refer to it as a highlighter. This button will expand with text when hovered. Add the text beside the button. Change the font size and the font color. Decrease the opacity to zero. This means at the default state it will not show. Move on and select both the button and the text. Click on the plus sign convert it to a component. Add a hover state. On the hover state, select the text and increase the opacity to 100% to make it visible. Select the background and enlarge the width. This will enable a slide effect when the highlighter has hovered. And also increase the size of the box a little bit and the opacity to 100%. switch the hover state back to default. Here you see if I hover on it, the width slide, and the text show. Back to the artboard, move the highlighter to where the disc break. Hold the Alt key and drag to duplicate. Place it at the other parts of the bike. Here the first button is the parent component and the rest are instances or the children component. So we need to change the text in the children component. On the neath, I have another section. Here I will change the position of the text and decrease the opacity for both the text and the button. Convert the entire section as a component and add a hover state. At the hover state, change the opacity and move everything back to its position. Repeat the same in the next section.
Now, to wire up our anchor links. Select the first button we want to create the interaction from and hop into prototype mode. Switch from the default state to the hover state. Drag the blue handle directly to the layer you want the link to scroll to. In our case is the second section. Within the property, set the trigger to tap and the type should be scroll to. Change the ease out to ease in out and duration to 1 second. Switch back to the default state. I'll repeat the same process for the rest. Please do follow me. So as we click on the button and it scrolls to the section, we must scroll back to the top. Here select the entire section. Switch to the hover state for the button to show. Hop to the prototype mode. Drag the blue handle directly back to the top layer. If you check the properties window you can see that the settings are the same as the others. This enables us to get back to the top as the button is clicked. Do the same for the rest button. Alright. Let's see it all in action. Click on the garage button to take us to the bottom. Click on the back button to take us back to the top. Click on the engine button and it takes us to the engine section and the text slide in. So that will do it for today's tutorial on Anchor Links. If this tutorial helps you, please don't just pass without clicking on the like button and remember to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Click on here at the right to watch more tutorials on Adobe XD. So on that, I say peace. See you at another tutorial soon.